Hello and welcome to this uh, tutorial about the Geronimo performance pad for the Robinson R44 Raven 2. Um, the application consists of uh, four main pages. This is the well and weight and balance page to enter all the va values for uh, pilot and passenger and baggage and fuel. Uh, you have a performance page. Uh, on that page um, the out of ground and in of ground effect ceilings will be calculated as well as the co max continuous power and V&E. Uh, we have a flight time page where you can actually calculate the flight time based on wind uh, direction velocity and uh, your uh, indicated airspeed. And we have a helicopter page uh, where you can actually derive data from um, the pilot operating handbook. You have data, airspeed limits and a uh, few definitions. Uh, also can, uh, you can do a couple of setups here on the system page. Let's have a closer look at those later on. Let's start with the weight and balance page. Here you can see that you can quickly change all values using the sliders, which makes it very convenient to make a weight and balance calculation really quick. So, but it might be difficult to enter a certain number, so you can just click on one and enter the precise value, let's say in that case 175. So if you want to get rid of this enter pad, just click on the area again. So this is the same with all values. You want to change your fuel flow, for instance, you, get, you click on the value and you enter it and you click again and the enter pad disappears. So now you can quickly enter all the values that you need. You can enter fuel and the flight time and you see the pad calculates the takeoff weight, the landing weight and the zero fuel weight. With all those numbers you can also click on the table view and there you get the numerical values which might be helpful if you want to double check what you're doing or you can also enter your own items let's say you have external load or a camera mounted so you can do those here. Same with lateral uh, CG calculations is available here. So this is the weight and balance page real quick you can enter your numbers and all those numbers will be stored and forwarded to the performance page. So here we have a takeoff weight of 2232 pounds. If we clicked on the performance page based on this takeoff weight uh, of, of the landing weight, I'm sorry, here's the landing weight 2127. Based on this landing weight your OGE and IGE out of ground and in of ground uh, hover ceilings will be calculated. These are the uh, calculated numbers. Um, also, um, your max continuous power and V and E will be calculated based on the values that you enter here using the sliders. Um, you can get rid of this automatic calculation by just clicking on that area and now you are free to experiment uh, with your own elevation that you enter. Let's say you want to land on an elevation at 7000 uh, feet MSL and your outside air temperature there uh, today is let's say 20 degrees. So you enter this and now you see the second helicopter that represents the density altitude. If you now also change lo the local altimeter then you see a third uh, helicopter which is the um, blue one which represents the actual elevation, the yellow one represents the pressure altitude. So now you can experiment with all those numbers and see how they interact. Simultaneously, um, your max continuous power will be calculated based on your environment and also the VNE never exceed speed will be calculated. If you click on those instruments, you see where the, where the data actually comes from which is uh, the uh, pilot operating handbook, the limitation placards. This is the performance page, can be very powerful and you can calculate all those numbers very quickly. Uh, on the third page, the flight time page, uh, here you can calculate a certain flight time based on the environment. Again, let's say you have a wind direction here from maybe today 40 degrees and you have a wind velocity and as soon as you dial in or slide in a wind velocity you see that the compass heading represented by the orange value is calculated. First the uh, app calculates a, a wind correction angle WCA and then it calculates the compass heading. Also based on your airspeed the ground speed will be calculated. First you uh, will uh, the program will calculate um, the true airspeed 
uh, and the calibrated airspeed based on the actual R44 values. So now you can also slide in a variation. Let's say you have a vari variation of minus 10 degrees. Uh, that would be an easterly variation. Um, all this is automatically calculated and will give you a final compass heading at the end. Uh, now you can easily set your leg distance. Let's say you've got to go 100 nautical miles. Just enter that and you will see your flight time is 1 hour 13 minutes. With this flight time you can go back to weight and balance and check whether you can actually achieve this. So if you say, okay, now I change my flight time to 1 hour and 50 minutes, you see with your current setup, you would have 67 minutes of reserve fuel. So now, of course, you can again change the values. If you don't need that much reserve time, you can just uh, uh, take less fuel. So that's the flight time page. And um, last one is the helicopter page. Here you can actually get data from the pilot operator hand, uh, operating handbook. Uh, here we have basic helicopter data, we have airspeeds and limits, um, and you get a couple of definitions. So in case you are not sure with uh, an abbreviation that you have found, you can check the definition right here. Also there's a system page where you can uh, send me an email if you have a question, uh, go to a website and check for updates and uh, see this video tutorial or switch units. If you click here you can switch to kilogram and liter or pounds and gallons. Uh, here you can enter an email, your personal email address and when you click this button you will get an email with all the values from the weight and balance page. So all those numbers that you see here will be sent to you um, to your email address. That might be a helpful thing. On the, uh, if you want to make a record of what you have done, let's say you uh, want to make a note that you have done this weight and balance, then uh, all you need to do is click this button on the iPad here and the on off switch which is usually on the uh, up top uh, right side simultaneously. If you click both of those uh, buttons simultaneously you will get a screenshot which uh, from this application which you can then find in the photo library. So that's a very convenient way of doing a screenshot from that. Okay, that's a short tutorial about it and just let me know what you think. Um, give me your feedback and I will, uh, or if you have questions, just let me know. I will try to come back to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much. Take care.